guys, um, please take out your pens. We're gonna watch a movie. Please take out your pens because after we're gonna take a seat. Episode, we are lucky to be invited in LSCA to help the students here in grade 11. In today's video, we will be teaching you about the range and the domain of quadratic function. If you want to learn more, please click the subscribe down below. What is domain? Domain is a set of all possible values that can be used, used as input values in a function. What is range? It refers to a set of all outputs of a function. For the range, you have two sets of formulas, the positive and negative. For the positive, we have y such that y is greater or equal 4ac minus b squared all over 4a. For the negative, we have y such that y is less than or equal 4ac minus b squared all over So the main part is given already, which is x such that x is equal to any real number. And then the range. For the formula of the range, our given is positive. So we will be using the positive formula and we will be solving it. For letters A, Letter A is the x squared, and then our B is negative 4, and our C is 4. So, A is equal to 1, B is equal to negative 4, C is equal to 4. So, on the positive, this is there that y such that y greater than equal 4ac minus b squared all over 4a. So that is the formula for the positive. And then, as we said earlier, a is equal to 1. So 4 multiplied by 1 and then our C is 4 minus B squared. B squared is negative 4. Negative 4 squared. All over 4 times your A, which is 1. So 4 times 4 is equal to 16. Negative 4 squared is equivalent to 16. It will be positive because both sides will be positive if the same if they are having the same sign. If the numbers doesn't have the same sign, well, of course it's negative. And then 4 times 1 is equal to 4. 16 minus 16 is equal to 0 all over 4. Which is equivalent to zero. So the final answer is therefore y such that y is greater than equal zero. For the domain, we will be using the x such that x is equal to all real numbers. For the range, we will be using the two formulas. For this given, we will be using the negative formula, which is y such that y is less than or equal to 4ac minus b squared all over 4a. a is negative 3, b is equal to 3, c is equal to 5. We will be substituting it. So 4 multiplied by negative 3 and multiplied by 5 minus 3 squared all over 4 multiplied by negative 3. 
So, 4 times negative 3 times 5 is equals to negative 60 minus 9 squared all over negative 12. The answer is negative 69 over negative 12. For the given, it is positive, so we will be using the positive formula. For A, it is 1 half, B is equal to 3, and C is equal to 2. So, 4 times 1 half multiplied by 2 minus 3 squared all over 4 multiplied by 1 half equals... Four minus nine all over two. Is equal to negative five over two. The answer is y such that y is greater than negative five over two. Thank you.